when they switch to the onboard redundant set launch sequencer. The ground launch sequencer is a part of the launch processing system and operates by relaying commands to the orbiter's onboard computers, which then report back to the launch processing system that the commands have been executed. The primary job of the computers is to check that all of the launch commit criteria, such as propellant loads, temperatures, pressures, and other measurements, are satisfactory. The primary chase aircraft have taken off. Uh, a third T-38 will take off at the T-minus five minute mark. The timing of this plane uh, is such a tight window that a 15 second delay would mean that they would not be in the proper position at launch. The sleek T-38 supersonic trainers have such critical timing because of the small fuel load that they carry. T-minus seven minutes, 52 seconds and counting. The voice of Hugh Harris from Launch Control. Uh, approximately 40 seconds away from movement of the orbiter access arm. Uh, this is the final arm which must be moved out of the way to provide for the orbiter uh, to clear the tower properly. Uh, this may be a very uh, interesting launch to watch from the standpoint that the orbiter is able to translate uh, slightly horizontally as it begins to lift off and it also does a roll maneuver uh, which will uh, place it, uh, the orbiter sort of on its back as it goes uh, towards the uh, proper inclination to the equator. T minus seven minutes, seven seconds and counting. T minus seven minutes and counting. And we have retraction of the orbiter excess arm, beginning to move the back first uh, away from the orbiter and then to swing away. This was the walkway attached to the service structure and used by the crew to walk to the orbiter. The crew has been advised uh, to lower their helmet visors. Very slow movement by the orbiter access arm. T minus six minutes, 29 seconds and counting. The crew is beginning the APU pre-start. Uh, this is the start begins at the five minute point in the count. Six minutes, 15 seconds and counting. The APUs are turbine devices fueled by hydrazine, which provides hydraulic power to change the angle of the engines and the flight surfaces on the orbiter. T minus five minutes, 59 seconds and counting. Pilot uh, Bob Crippen had begun that APU pre-start, which uh, started about 48 seconds from now. The development flight instrumentation, which measures the stresses on the orbiter during flight, have been turned on, and recorders uh, uh, store information for playback after landing. T minus five minutes, 30 seconds, mark and counting. And uh, uh, we've got three great talkbacks. Yeah. Pilot Bob Crippen has signified the auxiliary power units are ready to be started. Flight is start is five minutes, 15 Market. seconds, and counting. Coming up on the five-minute point, four, three, two, one. Mark, T minus five minutes and counting. APU start. We have APU had start. a go for APU start. APU start, APU and, uh, start is in work. CDRA this is a start CDRA. sequence. The final chase plane has taken off from Patrick Air Force Base. T minus four minutes, 42 seconds and counting. T minus four minutes, 30 seconds, and counting. Go ahead. Once we get the APU start, we have a total of 12 minutes of hydrazine supply for running the APUs prior to a liftoff. Everything going very smoothly in this count. The APU start is complete. T minus four minutes, 10 seconds, and counting. As preparation for main engine ignition, the main fuel valve heaters have been turned off. T minus three minutes, 57 seconds and counting. The final helium purge on the shuttle main engine has been started in preparation for engine start. 
The liquid oxygen replenish system has been turned off in preparation for pressurization of the tanks uh, for the launch. T minus three minutes, 35 seconds and counting. The Elevon speed brake and rudder are being moved through a pre-programmed pattern to assure that they'll be ready for use in flight. T minus three minutes, 20 seconds and counting. The shuttle is now on internal power. However, the fuel cells are still receiving their fuels from the ground support system for one more additional minute. Coming up on three minutes, three minutes, three minutes. Coming up on T minus three minutes, T minus three minutes and counting. The engine gimbal, our movement check is underway to assure they're ready for flight control. T minus two minutes, 52 seconds, the LOX valve on the external tank has been closed and pressurization has begun. After the tank is pressurized, the hold capability is limited to three minutes, 36 seconds. T minus two minutes, 40 seconds and counting. The that movement a moment ago was to check to make sure that the engines could be moved, that they're supposed to move, and they did. The vehicle is using its onboard supply. T minus two minutes, 25 seconds, and counting. T minus two minutes, 15 seconds. The pressure in the LOX tank is at flight pressure. Coming up on just two minutes away from launch. T minus two, two minutes, mark and Move counting. The liquid hydrogen vent valve has been closed and flight pressurization is underway. T minus one minute, 50 seconds and counting. Thanks a lot, Chuck, you guys do super work. Chuck Hannon, the Chuck Hannon, Chuck Hannon has just said so smooth sailing, baby, to oh, yeah. astronauts John Young and Bob Crippen. T minus one minute, 35 seconds, and counting. T minus one minute, 30 seconds, mark. T minus one minute, 20 seconds, and counting. We can see the purges of the main engines uh, as we prepare for ignition. T minus one minute, 10 seconds, and counting. Liquid hydrogen tank is at flight pressure. Coming up on T minus one minute. T minus one minute, mark and counting. The firing system for the sound suppression water will be armed in just a couple seconds from now. It has been armed. T minus 45 seconds and counting. T minus 40 seconds and counting. The development flight instrumentation recorders are on. T minus 35 seconds. We're just a few seconds away from switching to the redundant send sequencer. T minus 27 seconds. We have gone for redundant set sequencer start. T minus 20 seconds and counting. T minus 15, 14, 13. Minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, we got the main
Columbia, Houston, your go at throttle up. Roger, go at throttle up. Projection seat use. Precept confirmation. Roger on the set, Columbia. Mark, uh, two minutes, 20 seconds. Confirm solid rocket booster set. Take out for this year. Precise window in space for main engine cutoff. Mark two minutes forty seconds. Columbia now thirty nine nautical miles in altitude, uh, forty two nautical miles downrange. Mark uh, two minutes uh, fifty seconds. Columbia, 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 Now reading uh, 6,200 feet per second. Mark uh, 3 minutes 15 seconds. Columbia now 51 nautical miles in altitude, 66 nautical miles down range. Velocity now reading 6,500 feet per second. Mark uh, 3 minutes 30 seconds. Columbia now 55 nautical miles in altitude, 78 nautical miles down range. Mark, uh, 3 minutes 40 seconds, uh, standing by for a return status check and mission control by Flight Director Neil Hutchinson. Columbia given a green to continue. Mark, 3 minutes 55 seconds, standing by for a press D'Amico, which uh, says Columbia should lose one inch. Columbia, stand by, press D'Amico. Columbia continues flying forward. Coming up on March, Columbia, Houston, uh, we're showing both Ohm's PC transducers off scale high. Mark, uh, four minutes, uh, 45 seconds. The uh, flash evaporator is activated on board to cool. Uh, Roger, setting off scale low here. Roger, stand by. We'll keep an eye on it. Mark, four minutes, 56 seconds. Columbia is lofting early in the second stage. Is now being taken out of the trajectory as program. Columbia now 74 nautical miles in altitude, 181 nautical yeah, miles. Everything looks nominal there, man. What a view, what a view. Glad you're enjoying it. Mark, uh, 5 minutes, 15 seconds. The Columbia now 75 nautical miles in altitude, uh, 202 nautical miles down range. Velocity now reading 11,000 feet per second. A, a status check and mission control by Flight Director Neil Hutchinson. Columbia, Houston, your go at 5.30, Miko, 8 plus 3.4. Mark, uh, 5 minutes, uh, 40 seconds. That call up from Capcom. Okay, Bradley, Columbia, 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 Navigation and Engine Performance. Roger, Roger, Columbia, reading you loud and clear. Okay, you're clear, a little weak. Mark, uh, 5 minutes, 55 and seconds. Columbia, we just switched over Bermuda. Voice should be getting better here in a second. Okay, that's good. Miles yeah, range, yeah. Per second. Columbia, Houston, uh, could we have the cryo heaters, please? And Columbia, your single engine rota. Right 
Mark, uh, six minutes, 25. Okay, let's get the crowd here. Mark, uh, six minutes, 40 seconds. Columbia pitching over now, diving to increase velocity, decrease altitude, giving Columbia her most favorable attitude. Columbia now 72 nautical miles in altitude, 373 nautical miles downrange. Velocity now reading uh, 16,400 feet per second. Standing by for a single engine, uh, Preston Miko will call up from Captain Brandon Stein. Columbia, your single engine, press for Miko. Mark, 7 minutes, 20 okay, seconds. The report there. says a young and Crippen can achieve orbital insertion even if two engines go out. Mark, uh, 7 minutes, 30 seconds. Columbia, 67 nautical miles in altitude, 485 nautical miles. G-force is building for young and Crippen now up to 3Gs. Mark, uh, 7 minutes, uh, 45 seconds. Columbia's main engine slowly being throttled back now. Should be throttled at 65% at six seconds before main engine cutoff. Status to the control center. Columbia, Houston, you're go at eight. Mark, eight minutes, four right, seconds. Panel looking good. Columbia, now 60 nautical miles in altitude, 606 nautical miles down range. Mark, eight minutes, 15 seconds. Columbia now 63 nautical miles in altitude, 650 nautical miles downrange. Standing by now for main engine cutoff. That's me for 25670 up at 223 seconds. Roger, Columbia, Miko. Of the external tank, and they've just Confirm. been. Confirmed. Uh, Columbia, the gem of this new ocean now in space, not yet in orbit. Now, now standing by now for external tank separation. Hey, you guys have. Roger both teams, modulation are go, Airborne 1 and Airborne 2. Roger, configure for the pass. 